Welcome back to Brick Gaming YGO. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we'll be looking at um, another episode of How Improve at Yu Gi Oh! So I think this is episode number six. I think this is one of the series where it just doesn't do so well, but I think it's very important to improving at the game. And I think um, decks. Deck profiles, of course, matter and all that type of stuff. I'll continue doing that on my channel, of course. But I'm also going to continue with the series. Just because I think it'll eventually take off, and I think that's helping out the community. If it's helping you guys out, let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And today we're going to be looking at side decking and why it's so important. Now, I just want to go over just a basic, very simple ratio, very fast. Two thirds of your games in any duel, if it's a match, you will be side decking two out of those three games or at least one of those games. So at least 50% to 66.7% of the time, you will be side decking in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, side decking is of course really important. It can completely change around your ratios, it can completely change around what you're trying to do with your deck, it can change around the aim of your deck, consistency, all that type of stuff. And then when to talk about how properly side deck, why it's so important, and finally, why well, I think that you should side deck more. Now, first off, we're going to start off with why it's so important. So, um, just going to kind of explain this as basically as I can. The reason it's so important is that it gives you an edge. You want to have an edge in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, if there's a really good deck around, like let's say uh, a format where Sky Striker is tier one. Most players are going to be side decking anti spells or twin twisters, right? Well, of course. But if you're not side decking those cards, that automatically gives you a disadvantage to the best deck in the game, if that was the best deck at the time, which it has been in the past. And so you always want, when you're side decking, give yourself an advantage. And really, like, it depends on your matchup. And the reason, like, um, you want to side deck, like, a lot of, like, different cards or cards where your weak points are is to help you win. So, like, let's say you're playing a deck that's a combo deck, and your whole goal in the whole game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is to go first. But let's say, for example, you don't win a die roll and you lose game one. Well, game two, you're for sure going first. And based on what you're going to probably side, you're probably not going to have very many going first cards in your side deck because you're already going first deck. Now, my recommendation always side deck, at least like a uh, play set or at least like some some um, number of, well, if you're going, if you're always a going first deck, side deck a number of cards to help you going first that are generic. If you're going second deck, side deck going. So going second generic side deck cards. Now, if your deck can do either or, side deck equal number. But if you're always going to go first, and that's always your goal, then if you're going to go first after game one, or if you, after game one you're going to go first, or game three you're going to go first, put at least leave a small amount of cards you can side deck. My recommendation, um, if you're playing going first, 25% of your side deck should be going first cards. If you're going second deck, 25% 20%, or more of your deck should be going second cards. Now you can play either or, 50% down the middle. Now the majority of cards you want to play is for what your uh, matchups are weak at. So let's say you're really bad at going second, you want to side deck a majority of going second cards. That way you have more consistency and you have more ways to help you get advantage and win the duel. Now moving into consistency. Now in Yu-Gi-Oh! My thing that I always preach is you never want to mess with the consistency of your deck. And you want your deck to always be consistent, be able to do the same combo. So when you're side decking, don't side deck out what makes your deck good and consistent. Side out cards are either extenders that you won't need or cards that won't affect the consistency of your deck in any negative way. This way, you're not messing up a consistent way to get into your ratios, get into your cards, and set up a board. That way you're still not goofing yourself or messing up. Um, sorry, trying not to swear on, you, on uh, YouTube. You know, trying to keep it PG and clean. But um, you don't want to mess up and make a mistake of side decking out all your good cards. So the main point in side decking, don't side out your engines. Don't side out anything that's going to help you win the duel. Only side out cards that are extenders that you won't need or cards that are in general won't affect your consistency. And that's why you don't want to mess with consistency. And if you do have to, like let's say you have like nine really good cards against your opponent and you're like, I need to side deck out like one or two consistency cards. I, in that case, would do it, but it's like one of the things you want to do very last. You never want to mess with your consistency. You never want to mess with your engines. You want to leave your deck as consistent as possible. Now, finally, moving into, in my opinion, one of the 
something that's very important about side decking that I think matters quite a bit is ratios. Yeah, ratios still matter in side deck. Main deck ratios matter, extra deck ratios matter, side deck ratios matter. Ratios always matter. In my suggestion, if you want to see a card going second every single time, always side three. Now you'll have to side in all three copies for certain matchups, but always leave three in your side deck as an option. So let's say your deck has a really hard time against Orcus, and Orcus is at full power. Side in triple Lancia. Lancia will help you win the game. Or let's say your deck has a really hard time against Pendulum. Side deck in Ash or Droll. That way, your opponent's not going to get a bunch of searches, or you're going to hit like one of their main searches and really hurt them. So, or even Ghost Ogre in that matchup because Ghost Ogre just gets rid of Electromite and that really harms the deck generally. So, this is my opinion. Side decking is one of the most important things in Yu Gi Oh! You're playing 50 to 66.7% of your matches with side deck. So, to win those extra games and to give you an edge and advantage in Yu Gi Oh! Always side deck. That's my recommendation. That's why I will always recommend to anyone always side deck, always come prepared. That way, you're losing less games, whether it's at locals, a large event, or even with the world championships. I, I, I don't know if anyone that's going to the world championships doesn't know this, but just in case, and just in case it's a mouse stumble across my content. But obviously, side decking is really important, and I'd recommend it. So, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future uploads, leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Uh, thanks, thank you guys again for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Brick Gaming White Show, signing out.